Well, it's 2020, and people are still being brutally murdered over Muhammad cartoons. Why are people still being brutally murdered over Muhammad cartoons? Two reasons. One, Islam can't allow you to criticize or mock Muhammad, so it encourages its adherents to brutally murder anyone who criticizes or mocks Muhammad. Two, Western politicians and journalists and educators are generally too cowardly to take much of a stand, so they tend to back down when confronted with threats of violence, and their cowardice encourages jihadis to use more violence. What happens when a teacher in France shows his students some Muhammad cartoons in order to start a discussion about freedom of expression? The New York Times reports. A knife-wielding man decapitated a teacher near a school in a suburb north of Paris on Friday afternoon and was later shot dead by the police, according to officials quoted by French media. A police officer with knowledge of the attack confirmed French media reports that the victim was a teacher at a local school who had shown caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad in class. Always good to acknowledge Muhammad as a true prophet. The officer requested anonymity because of the ongoing investigation. A police union official told the French television station BFM on Friday that witnesses saw the assailant cutting the victim's throat. The national police were called, officials said, and after discovering the decapitated victim, confronted the assailant nearby, close to a school. Brandishing a large knife, he threatened the officers and, after refusing to surrender, was shot ten times, they said. A prosecutor from the country's special anti-terrorism unit was immediately sent to investigate, officials said. Other sources provide additional details. Long story short, a middle school history teacher decided to use Muhammad cartoons to start a discussion among his students. Some students complained to their parents, an 18-year-old jihadi then defended his prophet's honor by beheading the teacher while shouting Allahu Akbar. How should the people of France respond? Well, if France is going to retain its commitment to freedom of speech, French leaders should hold a press conference and declare that all schools will now be required to have a discussion about Muhammad cartoons. Students will be shown various Muhammad cartoons and will be invited to share their perspectives. The message will be, whether you're for Muhammad cartoons or against Muhammad cartoons, we don't kill people in France over Muhammad cartoons. I understand, of course, that since jihadis are now brutally murdering teachers for showing Muhammad cartoons to students, teachers may be concerned for their safety. That's where I come in. I'm here for you, France. Just invite me, and I'll go from school to school giving the most epic presentations on Muhammad cartoons you can imagine. I'll show, from Islam's most trusted sources, that Muhammad ordered his followers to brutally murder people for making fun of him. I'll show that the real reason Muhammad was so sensitive about people criticizing him was that he was the most obvious false prophet in history. The only way he could avoid being laughed into oblivion was to order his followers to brutally murder his critics. That's why his followers, to this day, will brutally murder people over Muhammad cartoons. The young generation in France needs to learn this now, so that maybe, just maybe, they won't be as quick to surrender as their parents' generation. My biggest concern here is that France has been blasted with so many Islamic terrorist attacks in recent years, the young generation may be getting used to it. When terror is normalized, when people become numb to it, when children are raised in it, how do you show them that there's a problem?